Hey guys, this is Redhead Goes Healthy and welcome to Mindful Mondays. So we are continuing reading James Clear's Atomic Habits. We are at chapter five. And uh, this chapter, again, is short and sweet, which is good, which is what I like. It's all I can do at this point. So let's just jump right into it. The title of this chapter is The Best Way to Start a New Habit. It talks about something called, that I just, I've never heard of this before, and it's not something that he came up with, but he talks about something called implementation intention. And what that is, is the plan that you make before you act. Super important to make a plan before you act and it allows you to actually act. And you're not thinking about it, you, you actually do it. Um, and the idea here is that you think about the time and location of when you're going to do that act. When situation X arises, then I will perform response Y. So it's a simple kind of sentence to kind of think about how to implement this into our own lives. I really like what he says in this chapter when he says, many people think that they lack motivation when they really lack clarity. It makes me feel better about myself. And so instead of waiting on this feeling that we call motivation to get us to do something, instead, I think he's trying to say, you have to be concrete about what it is you wanna do. And so concrete that he gives us another little formula to try to enact. He says, I will, and then you insert whatever behavior you're trying to do. I will do this at this time in this location. So not only do we have the, when situation X arises, I will perform response Y, but he's given us even more. I will do this behavior at this time, at this location. And then this other really cool idea in this chapter was this idea of, of habit stacking, which comes from someone named BJ Fogg. I like that James Clear uh, cites people. As an academic myself, I think it's really important that we cite the research that has been done before us. Um, I think he's just a really good writer. Uh, but basically, BJ Fogg has this idea called habit stacking, and that says that our behaviors are usually connected to each other, which is kind of common sense, but, but it's really, it's important when you, you make something that has been implicit, explicit. I think that in raising it to your conscious awareness, you can start to um, use it to your advantage. So another formula that he gives us here that's helpful is, after I, your current habit that you do right now, so let's say it's like brushing your teeth. After I brush my teeth, I will, and you insert a new habit. So let's say you wanna start listening to more podcasts. So you would say, after I brush my teeth, I will listen to a podcast. The idea here is to tie in a new habit with something that you already do, which then makes it easier to actually stick to your new routine. I. I would love to hear your thoughts on chapter five. I loved it. It was short and sweet to the point. And then uh, it looks like chapter six. I did read ahead. Chapter six is going to be interesting because we're going to talk about how our space, our actual physical space can impact how successful we are at implementing the new habits that we want in our, in our lives. So I look forward to that. I'll see you guys hopefully this Friday for Fearless Fridays. If not, then next Monday for Mindful Mondays, episode six.